Well, well, well. The tough cast list for, for Tough 28 is now official, okay? You got a lot of veterans. A lot of veterans. They disgruntled. They mad. And I think all of these veterans got to ask the UFC one thing. How you going to explain this? Stay tuned. And yes. just enjoy uh, the rest of this day and uh, have everything good. <laughs> can thank we you. still get the drop? L listen, listen, listen. Can, Coach, can, they <laughs> can, can we say did, we, we are the Shevchenko sisters and you're watching Coach Sheldon Harrison? That's easy. <laughs> we are the Shevchenko sisters and you are watching Coach Sheldon. Yeah. You're oh, it, was there. it was there. It was there. That works, Coach. Perfect. That's beautiful. Well, thanks a lot, e Eric. Thank you for messing up my drop with the Shevchenko sisters, Eric. This is your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> I'm just playing. Subject for another video. LD MMAC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Well, you got a lot of disgruntled veterans. Boy, you got a lot of ones that they are completely disgruntled, man. Let me tell you, boy. I'm talking about, you got veterans, they coming out all over social media talking about this debacle, okay? And that's what this is, guys. This is a debacle, okay? Um, I, I, I got to shake my head, too, man. Not one of these veterans were, were chosen to be on a tough show. Now, people are speculating that maybe a few of these veterans, they may be signed to UFC contracts. We don't know, okay? From the looks of it to me, though, with the pattern of the UFC... Mm -mm. It don't seem like it, okay? I, I, I honestly believe in my heart that the UFC, they don't have any intention, man, of trying to sign any of these people, okay? I, I, on the left, that is, okay? Now, one of these people on the left will be coming to the show tomorrow, okay? They'll be coming to the show tomorrow. The person that can guess who's coming to the show tomorrow, okay? I will put up a video, okay, of their choosing, okay? Now, it can't be something that I'm completely against, okay? But you know something that you that you want to hear me talk about, and then you know you put you put the name of the person and the video. It can be anything. It don't even have to be MMA. Okay, it don't have to be boxing. It don't. It can be anything of your choosing that don't go against my particular beliefs. Okay, um, or you know that don't you know go outside of my character. That kind of thing. Okay, but I'll put up a video of your choosing. The first person, and I, I'm checking the time. Okay, time, date, it stamp, and I'm gonna see who can guess who's coming to the show. Um, Who's coming to the show tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? And then maybe at about maybe, I don't know, 10 p.m. tonight, I'll let the cat out the bag, okay? But, you know, got to guess first. But anyway, guys, listen, this is crazy, man. So the list are, you know, they've been officially put out there. And, of course, man, you got these veterans on the left. Boy, they mad. <laughs> I, I've looked at all their social media, and all of them pretty much done said the same thing, okay? They said the same thing. <laughs> like, what? You know, like the people, you know, most of the people on the right, they don't have any experience, okay? Um, and two of the people on the right, they didn't even have to try out. They just got selected. Um, Cindy Dandois came out. Cindy made comments about B. Malecki. She said, you know, B's a pretty face. And, you know, laugh. You know, Cindy was being, she came right out and said it, okay? Um, I was high on, uh, and I, I keep pronouncing this girl's name, uh, Julia, okay? Julia Stolarenko. I think she's got some good skill set, but she's untested, you know. And, you know, that's another pretty face. Katarina Liner. Okay? That, that's another pretty face, you know. I'm just saying. Um, you got a few pretty faces in there that, you know, okay. Uh, you got Mary Chase on. You know, she's still unproven, okay. Uh, Mary, to me, you know, I, I definitely believe she got a bright future. But it's like, you know, the veterans on the left, man. Phillips, Farn, they all saying, look, man, they ain't got no experience. Now, I can understand, you know, if they say, hey, well, it's an age thing. But no, because Marcia Allen just turned 36. I mean, how you going to explain this? <laughs> how you going to explain this? Okay, because some people came at me saying, well, maybe they want the young, you know, the really young fighters. Well, okay, Marcia Allen. What's the deal with that? And what if Marcia Allen actually wins a tournament? Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> if Marcia Allen wins a tournament at age 36, that would be completely crazy. Okay, and I can't talk to Leah Letson right now because actually she can't have her phone for, I guess, the duration of the tournament. So when Leah gets back out of the tournament, then, you know, we're, we're going to be talking. But it's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know, Pam Sorison, she had something to say. Pam Sorison was like, look, I don't understand. Okay. And to me, I think Pam Sorison, she's had some experience. You know, she's got a pretty decent resume. 
she's had some experience you know she's fought against some tough fighters she's fought against a few um you know and she's about to go into her 10th mma fight that's coming up okay Edian gomez is a legend you know zara fern you know she may have not had like all the big names but you know i think that she's you know definitely one of those fighters you take you say hey you know what this girl got some experience this girl is tough this girl got a little bit of skill you know what it's somebody you can mold i've watched tons of video on zara fern I've watched tons of video. Well, she calls herself a Zara Dos Santos. I've watched a lot of video, man. This girl could be, she could be special. Liz Phillips, you know, she had her stint in the UFC. She got, you know, three opportunities to try to get it. She uh, moved down to Invicta. And then the last, her last fight was in a King of the Cage. And she won her last fight. So Liz is, you know, back in the winning column. You know, she's trying to get back up. You know, I don't think Liz Phillips would have been a bad selection. Actually, to me, I've always thought Elizabeth Phillips has a lot of good tools. I just think that some of the stuff that you know she's not able to get i think she need to get with some other people i think she still needs to stick around sick jitsu because they're teaching her the mental toughness and they're teaching that sick jitsu man they, they athletes got good cardio man god dog i don't know what rick little is doing in that gym but i've never seen one of his fighters gas none of those fighters gas okay um i think that they're needed for that part of the mental aspect you know what liz does but i think liz can benefit from a couple of other you know striking coaches you know maybe you know teach liz you know how to slip you know how to faint properly you know without fainting into kicks and punches you know liz got some upside i've always been big on liz phillips i just think that she's a lot of untapped potential that's never been allowed to get out you got cindy dandois you know people hate on cindy because she ain't got no striking game but you know what this girl got 12 wins in mma that's 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 difficult and she's beaten some of the best fighters out there okay so you know there's no excuse why dandois shouldn't be allowed and i know people are going to say well she fought that crappy fight against alexis davis we got to understand man cindy dandois she was in a no-win situation okay she had to take the fight if she would have said no i can't fight well you know they probably would have got out of there or you know she would have been sitting on a shelf for eight months and she can't go fight elsewhere once you're under contract in, in the ufc you have to fight you can't go anywhere else and fight unless they approve it. And they're not going to approve that. They're not going to do that. So Cindy was in a no-win situation, okay? E even if she'd have won the fight, she still would have got cut. Because the performance to them wasn't lackluster. But, you know, they, they, they knew the girl. They knew the girl had no camp. They knew she didn't, okay? And that's the part about the UFC that pissed you off, you know? Cindy Dandois, she's one of those people. She don't have the look, you know? That's just, folks, that's just how it is, okay? Uh, Josette Cotton another raw talent very very strong man josette cotton you know needed you know needs a good nutritionist okay she needs a very good nutritionist she needs a good strength program a good conditioning program to help her shed the weight properly okay that's all josette cotton needs man and you know definitely some striking coaches that can actually help her fine-tune her power head Buster was one that i was really high on because she been her and cindy they've been calling out cyborg for the longest man and it's like they wanted smoke they definitely wanted that smoke and then you had a uh, 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 um um zalia frosto you had frosto a lot of experience some of the fighters you probably wouldn't know on her resume i know five fighters on her resume that i i thought were decent you know um and the people she lost to they were all high level fighters i mean i can tell you this right now zalia frosto done lost to some of the best i mean she lost to jennifer maya she lost to vanessa porto she lost to jessica i I mean, she's got some really good people on her resume that she's fought. So, you know, Zolia Frosto, that's another one. She in her young 30s, man. So we know it's not age, okay? We know it's not age because, you know, uh, what, uh, Zara Fern, not that old. Um, you know, Josette Cotton, I don't think, I, I can't remember Zo Josette's age. I know Zolia Frosto is about 31. So, I mean, nah, man, nah. This is who they wanted, okay? These are people that they wanted, okay? Now, you know, Marcia Allen, Larissa Pacheco. You know, I don't know. I don't know why they picked him. I know uh, Larissa, she's got some experience, okay? That's one that I, I agree with. I agree with Larissa. And I agree with Penny, okay? I agree. I I, I could. I would agree with those two. The rest of them, I'm kind of like, well, let's see how it develops, you know? I would agree with Leah Letson. Leah Letson's already signed. She's already got a contract with the UFC. She's already there, okay? And my only concern with Leah being in the house is that, you know, I think the, the support system that she has in Wisconsin, I think that's working for her. And I think that that's doing her a service. Like Leah Letson is, looks almost unstoppable. And I, you got to thank the people there in Wisconsin that's preparing her for these fights for that. And I just hope that Leah don't lose a step, okay? I hope Leah Letson don't lose a step or 
I hope that something in her technique don't break down, you know, while she's there, you know. I, I just, I don't know, man. You know, and I, I wonder, too, how is Leah going to handle the drama? Because Leah Letson don't like drama. She can't stand drama. She don't like the drama, man. And, uh, you know, I, Leah just one of those people, man. She real short. She quick. And Leah ain't got time for no BS, man. You know, so I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of questions I got to answer. I think Leah is going to do good on that show, though. I think she is. But I just, you know, maybe I'm hoping that her, her, training, her trainers, maybe they can get out there. Maybe they can help with some of the training. Because I'm not, I don't know, guys. I'm not, I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is, man. These veterans, they out. And uh, some of these veterans, they're hopeful that they're going to get signed anyway. But, I don't, guys, let's just be real. These veterans, they're not getting signed, okay? The people you see at the bottom, the people you see on the left, they're, they're not going to get signed, okay? The UFC, they're not going to do it. They're not going to waste the time. Uh, the 145-pound division is a joke. And now I see, you know, now I see why Chris Cyborg, you know, it's like, okay, well, God, what's the use, you know? I mean, that Ray Ellaby and Chris Cyborg know something that we don't know. You got the future. You got people like Leah Letson that I'm overly excited about. I mean, I could get excited about Penny Kenzot. But it's like, okay, you got Leah and you got Penny. Okay, Macy Chazon, you know, she's got potential. But it's, it's like they're not ready, y'all. They're not ready. They're not ready to deal with the likes. Guys, and I'll even say even for Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson beat most of these girls. Now, I know y'all don't want to hear that. But Megan Anderson beats the majority of these girls. She do. I think Leah Letson can beat Megan Anderson. But I'm talking about on the back end, I think Leah Letson can beat almost every one of these girls on the right. Okay? I'm almost sure about it. But, you know, it is what it is. And what are they going to do? What are they going to do about Megan? I mean, you know, if Cyborg out, that just leaves Megan. What are they going to do? Are all these girls going to get signed? I mean, folks, it's a lot of unanswered questions that we have right now about this. But I'm going to let it rest with this. I'm going to let it rest with this, y'all. Okay? I think the UFC... They're really doing a horrible job with the women. And they had an opportunity, man, to put some tough, exciting matchups around Chris Cyborg. But they, they kind of chose not to. I think the toughest matchups for Chris Cyborg on the right will be Leah Letts and Penny Kenza. I think that's it. I think the rest of them, you know, a lot of them are bantamweights, man. A lot of these girls, they're, actually, they're, they're true bantamweights. Like, Leah was like, you know, I want to fight at the bantamweight division. But, nah, man. I knew it. And I, I kept... Because when I asked, I said, yo, what division you coming in? She said, oh, I'm going to be a Bantamweight. And I kept thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, nah, man. They finna make Leah Letson be a flyweight, I mean a featherweight. I, I knew that they were going to do it. Coach Tadama strikes again. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris. And I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.